Excellencies, fellow first ladies, distinguished guests, all protocols duly observed. Let me at the very outset take this opportunity on behalf of the government and people of Ethiopia to, ex to express my profound gratitude and appreciation to Pink Ribbon, Red Ribbon for choosing Ethiopia as a new country of engagement. Studies and reports indicate that cancer in all its forms is a critical public health problem in the developing world. In East Africa, cervical and breast cancers are found to be the leading cancers among women. These cancers are common causes of morbidity and mortality in Ethiopia too. However, owing to the overwhelming burden of communicable diseases, cancer and other non-communicable diseases have not been adequately addressed in Ethiopia in the past. Taking into account the ever-increasing burden of cancer, Ethiopia has taken a number of initiatives aimed at preventing and controlling cancer. Prevention and control of cancer is included in the National Reproductive Health Strategy to Health-Related Maternal <coughs> Mortality. In Ethiopia currently, there are 25 health facilities providing screening and treatment for pre precancerous lesion through VIA or visual inspection with acetic acid and cryotherapy, which is a very cost-effective method. We have established a national cancer committee that is composed of governmental institutions, NGOs, and various development partners to support the ongoing initi initiatives and to enhance prevention, early detection, quality treatment services, and palliative care. I have, together with the Ministry of Health and this committee, reached out to the parliamentarians to sensitize them and advocate for increased funding for women's cancer in Ethiopia. Efforts are also underway to improve access to cancer treatment and care facilities. Our government plans to establish five regional centers for cancer treatment across the nation by 2016. While we will be working hard to provide effective services to treat cancer, we also need to work diligently towards the prevention of cancer because it's the most cost-effective and sustainable way of reducing the national cancer burden in the long term. Cost-effective interventions must be made available in an equitable manner through access to information and education about cancer at the primary health care level, as well as early detection programs and affordable quality medicines, vaccines, and technologies delivered as part of a national cancer control plan. Effective cancer prevention at the national level begins with a national cancer control plan that responds to Ethiopia's cancer burden and cancer risk factors. We have to work hard alongside health care providers to make sure that anyone who needs cancer care can access it, including the necessary medications for managing the disease. There are so many challenges related to cancer prevention and treatment in Ethiopia. One of the challenges is a low level of awareness among the community leading to late stage presentation in which treatment may often involve multiple modalities including surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy, resulting in a, in a diminished chance of survival. Financial constraints and minimal technical expertise have also been hindering the effectiveness of most cancer-related interventions in our country. Last but not least, it's my earnest hope and indeed the expectation of all women who are suffering from the untold burden of cervical and breast cancers in Ethiopia, that pink ribbon, red ribbon will work in partnership with the government of Ethiopia and our relevant stakeholders to increase cervical cancer prevention, including HIV, HPV vaccination, screenings and treatment, breast cancer education, and early care seeking by our women like never before building upon existing health platforms and infrastructure. I want to assure you that your intervention will yield unprecedented results. We'll, we'll look forward to partnering with you. Thank you for listening. Thank you.